have a section in your planner like the currently page that you're not really using and you want ideas for using that what i like to do is just cover up the titles that are not relevant and when you cover up titles on planner pages that aren't relevant, you suddenly open up this world of different functional uses for your pages. The first idea is to use your currently page for writing out goals for the month, but you could also break it down into goals for that quarter of the year. So for example, I wrote down my summer goals on my currently page here. And then on this page, I wrote down my goals for the month of January. I like to use my currently pages to place orders for work since part of my job is to manage a lab and also at home I like to keep track of my shopping list for my online orders like when I need to purchase something from Amazon or from Target's website and I also like to use currently pages for a weekly review where you can you know ask yourself a series of questions to monitor your progress. A medication tracker or symptoms tracker might be helpful to keep in this location where the currently page is. To add this, you would need to just print out a printable. And I have a video linked below if you want access to either this medication tracker or the symptoms tracker. And you just paste it on the page and you don't have to worry about cutting it to the exact size that is needed and you don't have to punch holes in it and the same concept applies to a budget tracker and here i just glued it onto my currently page i have also added a scrapbook paper to currently pages and then added questions for example monthly bible study questions but you can use this same concept to add journaling prompts like what were the three most significant events or experiences from last month and how did they impact you? What are three things you are grateful for this month and why do they matter to you? And this works great for journaling if you add a second insert because then you essentially triple the amount of space you have to write on because you have the front and back of one page and back of another page. In my work planner, I like to add weekly checklists. I have different tasks at work that I need to get done each week of the month. So each checklist is specific to whether it is week one, two, three, four, or five, and what those tasks are. You can create a bucket list for that month or season like fall, winter, spring, summer. Here I doodled the fun activities that I wanted to do during summer and then added them to my currently page. What about adding photos and writing down what the highlights or what your accomplishments of the month were to celebrate that? Since currently pages are time relevant, meaning they are specific to a certain month in your planner, something like a packing list for a trip that you are going on during that month might be a good use for it. Here I'm breaking the packing list down into categories like clothing and toiletries and miscellaneous. If you use a friction pen to check off the boxes on your packing list, you could reuse it later on on a different trip. So something to keep in mind because it's an erasable pen. And then you could also like write in the numbers for like the number of shirts, the number of jeans you need to bring, you could write that in using the friction pen also. So then you can reuse it depending on what you would need for that trip. If you were to take something like a notes page and laminate that and then reinforce it with washi before you punched it, you could use that laminated packing list over and over again for different trips and just check it off using a wet erase marker. You can also use a currently page to plan itineraries for your trip and to include important information about the trip, such as phone numbers or addresses of the places that you'll be visiting or any other info. I would love to know what you use your currently pages for. So please comment below and let me know. And maybe your comment will help someone else out with their planner. There are more videos to come in this mini series, so I hope that you'll join me for those and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Counting the days until summer. Feeling the warm rays upon my face. Leaving
繁忙。